So as we're midway through the season, and yet again, the Celtics are sitting in first place, looking like a top two finish in the Eastern Conference two years in a row, the question always gets asked, how come Jason Tatum is not considered an MVP candidate? And the answer is quite simple. He's just the leader of his generation leading the charge against, I don't want to say the older guard, but the generation that's ahead of him. And that's Embiid, Giannis, both at age 29, and also Jokic at age 28. But make no mistake about it, Jason Tatum is the most accomplished and the most experienced of his generation. And when I say his generation, I'm referring to players like Luka, Ja Morant, Anthony Edwards, Tyrese Halliburton, SGA, Trey Young, Zion, De'Aaron Fox. Tatum at age 25 is really with that tier. And there's a major gap between him and those players of just experience level in the playoffs. And it's crazy that that wide of a gap already exists and Tatum has not even hit his prime yet, which tends to be around the mid to late 20s. And with the medical field progressing the way that it is, it's looking like a player's prime in today's league is in the early 30s. When you look at guys like LeBron James, Stephen Curry, Kevin Durant, they're still performing at top prime levels when they were in their early 30s. But Jason Tatum is still going through his progressions, which is normal, but he did have a few stumbling blocks in the past few years. You look in the 2020 bubble, the fact that they went to a game seven against the Toronto Raptors, that already kind of raises some eyebrows and they lost to the Miami Heat in the semis. Then in the following season, in 2021, they had a bad start to that season and they entered the playoffs a seventh seed and they were knocked out by the Brooklyn Nets in the first round. Then of course in 2022, they entered the playoffs as a second seed and got all the way to the NBA Finals, which this is pretty much where Jason Tatum kind of got knocked down a bit in the pedestal, but there's yet still a far gap between him, Luka, Jean Morin, Anthony Edwards, and the other players of his generation. Even though he got knocked down based off his performance in the Finals, there's still a major gap between his experience and other players of his generation. So he did get knocked down a bit, and that NBA Finals proved that he wasn't quite ready yet, but he's definitely getting there. And it's a normal progression. We've seen Kobe Bryant go through this in the 2008 NBA Finals when he made his first final appearance as a team leader versus the Celtics. And then fast forward to the past season in 2023, Tatum once again taking a step back and losing in the Eastern Conference Finals to the Miami Heat. And they took the same step back in 2021 by entering the playoffs as a seventh seed and losing to the Nets when the year before they got to the Eastern Conference Finals in 2020. So they took the same step back going from 2022 to 2023. So now we're in 2024 and Tatum this season, make no mistake about it, he looks ready, he looks in form and the Celtics, they added a couple insurance policies. They basically swapped Marcus Smart and Grant Williams for Drew Holiday and Christos Porzingis. So Tatum this season definitely has a lot of pressure on him as he has not only the right team, he has plenty of experience. He remembers those finals in which he had a really rough going and he kind of shrank in the biggest moment. Now, one thing I would say during the NBA finals, he did shoot really well from three, but his Achilles heel was basically all his shots from the perimeter as he shot 31% from the field. That's why he definitely has to rebound from that finals performance because he really shrank at that moment. I mean, you could even look at his free throw percentage. He was shooting about 65%. So maybe the moment was too big for him, but he's experienced now. And it's looking like this season, he has readjusted some of those chinks in his armor and he's ready to go. So Tatum doesn't really have to worry about MVP awards because that's not really the goal right now. And he's really not at that phase as he's still battling the old guard, which is Giannis, Embiid, and Jokic, all between the ages of 28 and 29. So we'll see how Tatum overcomes this. Hopefully he doesn't settle for too many threes, especially during crunch time. And he and the Celtics need to be a bit more selective on what kind of shots to take during crunch time. So it is what it is. Tatum is only 25. He's got a long way to go.